I was working from home, sitting on the couch with my computer, and all of a sudden, I started feeling like some really strange symptoms. My wife's a nurse, and so I waited for her to come home. I told her, you know, what the symptoms were. She looked it up on the computer real fast and said, I think we need to go to the emergency room. Like every guy does, I was a little resistant because everything had calmed down and I somewhat felt normal again. And, you know, nobody wants to spend five hours in an emergency room. Well, it's been, I spent a lot longer than that. <laughs> But anyway, so luckily, you know, I listened and we went. And the next thing I know, you know, I was in a helicopter on my way to shock trauma with the dissection of my aorta, which uh, come to find out is a very rare and very serious event. He had a, a dissection, we call it a type A. It, it included the aorta. Uh, ascending and descending all the way to the abdominal part and included the uh, kidney arteries. The pilots in the, in, the, um, in the helicopter were great and they were telling me like what, this is what's going to happen. You're going to go into this huge operating room, it's going to look like a TV show, which it did. Uh, I mean there were just people everywhere. We took Miles to the operative room as soon as he arrived here. We uh, replaced all of these part of the aorta that was dissected. We collaborate here uh, in our center at the University of Maryland with our vascular surgery and uh, every case uh, patients with dissection, we, uh, it's, a, uh, it's a, a teamwork. Doctors were talking to me, nurses were talking to me, the next thing you know I'm, I'm out and they're operating on me. 15 hours. Basically, uh, a dissection is a tear, from what I understand. And the aorta has like the top part and the lower part. The top part is called section A, and the lower part is called section B. Uh, I had a tear in both, lucky me. But the A is like the, the life-threatening part. Apparently, you know, hours or within a day or so, it would have gotten to the point where the aorta would have burst and ruptured. And at that point, you literally have like three minutes to get help, and that, obviously that's not gonna happen. I feel really good. Um, I, I've been walking a lot, like, you know, they're encouraging physical activity. Dr. Goreshi's team and the team at University of Maryland, all the nurses, I mean, they were incredible. It's really strange, it's, like, it's almost like, you know, stubbing your toe. I mean, you just forget about it. I mean, I haven't forgotten about it because every day I see those scars, but um, it's every day it's just getting further and further into history.